Hi guys, it's Chris from Knoxville. Um, we're going to do a couple videos today. Um, just kind of get some information out and uh, maybe answer some questions. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the Acurax. Um, the Acurax are the template set that we sell. This is actually their travel tube. Um, protects them from you know getting ruined and makes it easy for you to get them to and from the pool room. Uh, one of the complaints we always have when somebody hadn't tried them before is the lid's a pain in the butt. Not really. What you have to do with it is you have to squeeze the tube and squeeze the lid and as long as you squeeze it, it goes right on. If you don't squeeze it, you're going to have a nightmare. Um, once you get your set, what you're going to notice when you pull them out is that they're rolled a certain way. Uh, they're rolled blue side out and the bottoms of the tin ball and the solo are against the edge of the insert so that when you roll them, they have a curl that basically gets taken care of by gravity when you throw them on the table. So they do have a memory, so they'll, they'll want to sit up for just a little while, maybe longer if you kept them in your, in your car, but uh, after a few racks, they'll usually settle down and be you know, just fine. Um, the material that these are made of, when you see the pictures of them, a lot of people think that these are paper. These are not paper. This is actually a polyester fiber. Um, polyester means that they're pretty durable. Um, they don't wear from friction. If you have a plastic template over time, what happens is the friction of the balls enlarges the cutouts and then they quit working. Since this is polyester, it's kind of heat resistant. So we've had these used for years and they get to looking back, but they still work. Uh, we did the 2011 Music City Open and in, Jan in December when I went down there to talk about doing the 2016 Open in January, they were still using the old templates. Um, this is actually one that's been in use here at Billiards and Brews for the last 10 months. Um, it looks like it's been through a war. But the thing is, even though it looks bad, because it's been used every day for the last 10 months, um, it still works. Because what I'm talking about is the friction doesn't hurt them. If you can zoom in on this, what you'll see is there are burn marks around these cutouts. But the burns have not removed any of the material, so the cutouts are still working perfectly. So anybody that's wondered how long they'll last, I've yet to see one that wore out to the point that didn't work. It might get ugly, it might get dirty, but it's not going to quit working on you. Uh, in addition to the polyester, let's talk about the fact that they're blue. We were making them blue to match the Simona's cloth. We did a really bad job of it. What this blue actually is, is it is, it is a coating on the polyester that gives it friction. So if you were to take and feel the cloth and then feel the rack, there's about the same amount of friction in both of them. What this means and why it's important is that the balls react off of our template like they would if you were breaking on normal cloth. That means on the break, not just the hit matters, but also the speed matters. Because if you over hit them, you're gonna miss the wing ball wide. If you under hit them, you may miss the wing ball to the, to the foot rail. Um, since they've got the friction, it also means that you can shoot over them with English. And the cue ball is gonna draw, and the rack's gonna stay on the table. Um, one of the important changes, and while we're doing this, uh, one of these videos, is to talk about the changes we did recently. If you've got the old set, you'll notice that both the nine ball and the solo are a little different than what we did before. We redesigned the nine ball for this year's US Open, based upon feedback from the players. We radiused the ends, and we made this cutout section bigger, so that when the money ball is trapped on the table, it's way easier to get it off of it without worrying about touching the ball. For the solo, what we did is completely opened up the center, and we did this hoping that Canada was gonna get the World 8 ball. That fell through, but we went ahead and done the redesign, so we went ahead and released these. So these, you know, these are for eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball, but a lot of uh, nine ball and 10 ball players want dedicated templates. That's just why we have the Pro 10 and the Diamond 9. The last thing I want to talk about is, um, I guess, the condition of the tables and the balls where you're currently playing. 
one of the things when you don't get to play at home and you don't have your own rack and you don't have your own balls is that you have to deal with when was the last time the balls were replaced or has some nut job sat there you know an hour before you started playing and beat all the balls into the table to try and get them to freeze well in both of these situations because the template is acting as the cloth they're going to work where a regular triangle may not or a plastic template may not um, the difference in our geometry on our cutouts means that they're not static the balls react together and when i say they react together that means that if you've got balls that are a little bit out as long as the money ball is not the biggest ball in your set, regardless of whether it's for nine ball, 10 ball, or eight ball, these are gonna actually get you a frozen rack every time. But I think that's about all I've got to say today. Um, we're gonna talk about our chalk, and I think we're probably gonna do, uh, do a video on what the US Open is gonna do this year with the nine on the spot again. So check out the, you know, check out the other videos.